Okay, we're going to look at how to create a modal in Pingendo. If you don't know what a modal is, um, you click on something like a button on a web page, and a pop up appears um, giving you instructions or alert or telling you to do something, a call for action. You can either close it sometimes or you can click on um, a button and it takes you to another page. Here it's just taken me to a blank page. Okay. So we're going to have a look at how we would set one of these up in Pingendo. Okay, here I am in Pingendo and what I need to do is to create a new page. So I click here, I go for a blank page and I have a blank page. I've got my markup panel my, with my scripting up here so I'll just drag that down. Now the first thing I'll do every time you open up Pingendo you've got to create a site folder for a new project and save your files in there. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to save document. I'm going to navigate to my desktop. I'm using an Apple Mac, same principle on a PC. And I'm going to call this modal um, test is going to be my site folder and then my document is going to be called indexed index so I've saved that now the first thing I need to do is to have a button to make it work so if I go down um, in the components on the left at some point I'll come along buttons um, I drag out the button that's on the left now where you position it is totally up to you you probably create some column structure and have it nicely laid out I've just positioned it here. Now with that selected, I can go over to where it's got the section on the right and I'll make my button bigger where it's got bootstrap options and just make it bigger. And then all I'll do is I'll put open, I've double clicked it, modal. So you'll have to have something more meaningful that's bit. So that'll just give you an idea of what it's going to do. Now I've set that up and um, I need to give it an ID. So in here in the section with it still highlighted, it's got the attributes and I'm going to give it an ID. I'm going to call it modal uh, button. There's always a good idea to give IDs to everything. I have spelt that wrong. I'll put a Y in it. So I'll just button. Now once I've got that, I will now need to add um, the modal. So I'm going to come on a little bit further up in that section on the left and drag out modal. It's in between alert and the well. I'll drag it out and drop it underneath. Right, now you can customize this any way you want. You'll see over the side um, it's got the ID, so we'll put that on first. And we're going to call this my modal. But again, you can call it anything you want. Make sure there's no gaps in it. Once I've done that, um, you can. It's got a header, it's got a, um, a body, and it's got um, a footer. Now you can turn those off. So I could come along and say, um, turn off these or turn them on um, if you wanted to. It's got a little close button up at the top. Or you can turn the whole header off if I wanted to. I'll turn that back on okay so you can customize it the other thing we can do is over type these so I'll just call this sign up and also in here you can change that as well I'll go to say hello uh, world so you can customize it any way you choose to make it more meaningful and then it's got close and it's got saves changes and I'll just put sign up in there okay so I've got that set up um, on there. It's always important that you make sure you click just on the background of that because it's the whole sort of section there and make sure you know, your ID is on there. Right, now if I go back to the button, what I will need to do is to do some work on that to link it to open up with a behavior the modal. Now I'll make sure I've saved it up to date, but before I do this, I'm going to show you how the modal will work now. If I go up to the site folder, I double click on my index, it opens up in the browser, you will see it's not there. Okay, I'll move that down. Um, it is in Pingendo, but it's not appearing here. As a default, it's invisible, and we, until we get 
tell it to present itself. So that's an important thing you need to realize with it. So when you are doing this, say using code, um, it wouldn't be a problem. You just put your code in on in your you know HTML file and it wouldn't really matter because it would just appear. But because we're doing it visually and not programmatically, it needs to live somewhere. So you will have to, in Pingendo, just squeeze it in between maybe two other elements. Um, you'll see it while you're working on it and editing it, but when you see it in the browser, you won't. So that can be a bit of a, a little bit of annoying part of doing that. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'll go to my button. Now what I need to do with my button, once I've highlighted it, if I go over here in the section and you'll see it's got bootstrap and it's got behaviors. It's got it's ticked with a, a, an X on here so nothing's happening. And I go all the way over and I click on modal. Now when I click on modal, it'll have target underneath. Now I need to target to the ID of my um, modal. So I'll click on my modal again and the ID was my modal. That's what I called it. So I'll just copy that and now I'll go back to my button in the selection here where it's underneath behavior. It's got target. I need to first of all put a hash sign on and then paste in the name or type it in as long as it's exactly the same. Okay, I will make sure I save it up to date. I will go up to the top where it's got the site folder. I will double click on the index and I will click on the modal button we set up. Now you'll see um, the background goes grays out, it fades out, and then we have all our customizable items we put in there. We can get close and we can bring it back again. You can click on the background and also it will disappear as well. Um, or you can click on them, the sign up. Sign up's not happening, it's not take me anywhere. And also you can click on here. Now if I go back to Pingendo, okay, I need to create another document. So I just go up here at the top. I create a new, I just select this one. Um, once I've done that, I will uh, there we go. Nice one of a trail. Just put a, a, an image on that. Now I'm going to save this, so I will need to save it. So I go file and save document. And I make sure it's in my modal test folder. And this one, I'm just going to call that sign, sign up dot HTML. So it's sign up dot HTML. I save that. Now I'll go back to my index. Now I'll go back to the modal and I'll click on the sign up button and see where it says href in the attributes at the top in the selection. I click here, a little icon on the side, and I click on sign up and I click open. Now I make sure I'm saved up to date. How I know I'm not, I've got an asterisk up at the top next to it. So I need to save it. And again, I'll go up to the site folder. I'll double click on the index. I'll bring up my pop-up again, it functions so I can close it. But hopefully this time, if I click on sign up, it will take me to that page. Okay, I can go with the back button and show you that again. Click on the modal button. I can close it if I wish in two different ways. Also has this little close. Or I can now click on the sign up, which is linked to another page. So that's doing a modal in um, Pingendo big issue with it is making sure you put the hash sign when you are with the um, when you're bringing it up with the the actual behavior with the ID make sure you the hash sign and make sure you're calling up the ID and make sure you have given your modal an ID otherwise it doesn't know what to call